I understand. Now, you work for Press TV, this uh, Iranian uh, TV outfit in London. Is it true that when you interviewed Ahmadinejad, the, the, the ruler of, uh, of, of Iran, you began by saying that you, you told him, you, I require police protection in London from the Iranian opposition because of my support for your election campaign. I mention this so you know where I'm coming from. Andrew, I hadn't known I was on trial uh, today. I thought you wanted my expertise on, uh, on Did Syria. Did you say that? You used to work for uh, Rupert Murdoch of Fox News. We could, I think, quote some choice things from Fox News. And the short answer is no. I supported did the... You, did you I, say that? I, I, like ABC, supported the fact that Ahmadinejad won the election. I didn't support his election in any way, and I defy you. You said because of uh, my support for your well, election campaign. We could lay a thousand pounds each here on the table, and I can give you my thousand if you show me a scintilla of support for his election well, uh, campaign. Well, I'm simply asking, did you say that to him? No, I said my support for the outcome of the election. That's a different thing. I um, mentioned this so you know where I'm coming from. Yes, that's right. Would that be that conceivable for any from. BBC interviewer to say to the Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, I'm a big supporter of yours, I just want you to know that before um, I begin the uh, interview? It's very conceivable on Fox News that you used to work for. The, very, very conceivable. The difference is, you see, you think because you support and are associated with right-wing drivel that nobody will cast that up at you. You know, I knew that but the you, way you would reply to these questions it would be playing the man rather than the ball. The well, you're the uh, one playing the man, Andrew, and I'm the one you didn't even have the grace. I, I'm the one you didn't interviewing even, you, you didn't and even you have the grace. you me on to your show, I'll answer your questions. You didn't even have the grace to tell me that this is the kind of interview it was going to be. Well, you come on, you're a, you are a respected and experienced chap. You're ready for anything that we throw no, at you. No, uh, no, uh, foolishly, I right. believed you uh, when you said you wanted to talk to me about Bashar al-Assad, dogs well. in parliament. And, uh, and sundry domestic matters. More fool me. All right, we'll leave it on that then. Anita?